Hello, my name is George Downs, and this is my wife, Suzanne. We are both very proud alums of Philadelphia University from the class of 1963, although when we graduated from here, it was known as Philadelphia College of Textiles and Science. As George and I walk around the beautiful Philadelphia University campus, more than 40 years after we were students here, we feel truly gratified to still be part of this vital institution. Philadelphia University has undergone a pretty dramatic transformation over the last four decades. Without question, the successes we have enjoyed are due to the talent and dedication of some extraordinary leaders. In particular, we want to thank our good friend, Dr. James P. Gallagher, who for the past 23 years guided Philadelphia University through what is undoubtedly one of the most significant times in the evolution of this institution. Philadelphia University, which was founded in 1884, has more than 3,100 students from across the country and around the world. In six schools, there are a broad array of undergraduate and graduate academic programs. It has a spectacular campus located on the edge of Fairmont Park in the beautiful East Falls section of Philadelphia. On behalf of the members of the university's Board of Trustees, I'd like to thank you for accepting our invitation to visit Philadelphia University via the internet and to meet our new president, Dr. Stephen Spinelli, Jr. Dr. Spinelli is indeed the ideal person to be taking the helm at a very important time, a time when it is even more critical for students to be prepared to live and work in a rapidly changing global society. Dr. Spinelli's impressive credentials are well suited to leading Philadelphia University in the 21st century. Before coming here, Steve was Vice Provost of Entrepreneurship and Global Management at Babson College, where he spent 14 years as a highly regarded professor and administrator. Recently named by Fortune Small Business Magazine as one of the nation's top entrepreneurship professors, Dr. Spinelli received his PhD in economics from the Management School of the Imperial College, University of London, and his MBA from Babson College. He has an extensive background in executive education and consulting and has written and co-written numerous books on entrepreneurship and other business topics. Stephen Spinelli's entrepreneurial spirit was evident early on when he co-founded Jiffy Lube just a few years out of college. It is this spirit to seek out and make the most of opportunities that is vital in managing today's universities. We are very fortunate to have such a talented entrepreneur and academic leader guide Philadelphia University to the next level. So now, we are very pleased to introduce to you the president of Philadelphia University, Dr. Stephen Spinelli, Jr. Thank you, George and Suzanne, and thank you to my colleagues in higher education across the country and to the members of the Philadelphia area community for joining me today. As I sit here in my office, it's difficult to believe that two months have gone by since I became president of Philadelphia University, an institution founded in 1884 that has an incredibly rich history and a very bright future. This feels like home to me. It's a privilege and an honor to be selected to lead a university in this country, and particularly this vibrant institution. I'm so grateful for the opportunity. University presidents have broad responsibilities. They need to lead the charge for academic excellence, work with faculty members across a range of disciplines, plan for facilities needed to carry out their very important mission, root for the home teams, and of course, raise funds needed to continue to build excellence for current and future generations of students. Then there are the additional challenges of living and working in the 21st century dealing with a global economy and marketplace, preparing students who will enjoy several different careers in an increasingly virtual workplace, not to mention continually adapting to new technologies. While challenging, this environment presents many opportunities for our students. At Philadelphia University, we are committed to developing a model for the professional university of the 21st century, one that combines preparation for a successful career with a strong interdisciplinary foundation in the liberal arts and is intensely student-centric. This is our strength and we are building on this foundation to become a model institution. Philadelphia University has been transformed from a small textile-related college 
to a diverse, creative university with more than 50 majors across a wide variety of programs. Impressive new facilities meet both the academic and social needs of our students, faculty, and staff. Enrollments have climbed. Academic credentials of students have increased. And earlier this year, legendary basketball coach Herb McGee, who started here as a student in 1959, became the winningest Division II coach in NCAA history. That's our Philadelphia story. And I am committed to building on this momentum. Given my background, it won't surprise you that I believe one of the keys to being successful in this global economy is to incorporate the principles of entrepreneurship into the educational model. I define entrepreneurship as a way of thinking and acting that is opportunity obsessed, holistic in approach, and leadership balanced for the purpose of creating and capturing value. We live in a time of rising demand for leaders who are technically savvy, analytically skilled, and socially adept. Entrepreneurial skills are more important now than ever, regardless of the field or discipline. These skills are also critical to the ongoing viability of our nation's great institutions of higher learning. On any given day, I am energized by interacting with talented and creative students crisscrossing this campus. Many with portfolios under their arms, others wearing lab coats, some dressed in clothing of their own design, all of them on the path to a fulfilling and satisfying life as professionals and leaders. These students hold so much promise and I take very seriously the contract we've made with them. We call it power to do. They must take their studies seriously and do the best they can, aspiring to make the world a better place. We must deliver on our mission, which is to provide motivated, talented students with professionally oriented, integrated programs combined with a strong foundation in the liberal arts. This will prepare them not only to be professionals, but to lead their professions. Although I'm still fairly new to Philadelphia, it is inspiring to me that our campus is part of this great city that has such iconic symbols of freedom and liberty as Independence Hall and the Liberty Bell. As we all know, education is increasingly the key to freedom and liberty. We must continue to look for ways to ensure that all students who desire to attend college are able to do so. Our slogan, Power to Do, summarizes perfectly what Philadelphia University is all about. We aim through professional networks, small classes, innovative programs, interdisciplinary and integrated learning opportunities to empower students to do, to create, to solve, to lead, and to go out into the world ready to make their contributions. Thank you for spending this time with me, and I invite you to learn more about Philadelphia University.